Before you ask, no, I can't be arsed to figure out how to do that backward R. I realize it'd make the title card fit better with the whole, hey, this is Tetris, but not quite, but there are blocks falling in Russia theme that the game seemed to have going on, but I don't know how Russian a game about assembling English words can be. Sure, that title card at the beginning has Elorg on it and some dude named Sergei, but aside from flavor, this represents a larger paradigm shift. It's the puzzle game, doing things that hadn't been done before, taking a concept like spelling and turning it into a linearized, but simultaneously non-linear, analytic challenge. And it makes my brain hurt. Blocks fall, you arrange them and make them go away. Yeah, it's much like Tetris, only the blocks are coming one at a time and each has a letter on it. They come to rest upon that center line in the 9x9 nine nine playfield, but if you stack blocks on top of each other, they'll sink such that only the topmost block is above the line. Also included are question mark blocks, accompanied by a huh sound effect, which can be scrolled into whichever letter you like, and bombs which delete the letter immediately below them when they land. Words can be formed vertically or horizontally at any depth, so if you need to strategically sink a stack of letters to finish a combo, you're more than capable of doing so. Overlapping words are encouraged, and anything longer than five letters counts for bonus points at the end of round recap. Unlike most puzzle games, there's a hard break between levels, which allows for a drink of water or something, and, in the case of tournament mode, marks the time to pass the control to the next player in sequence. This tournament mode is interesting because the sequence of letters remains mostly static for all players, meaning the emphasis is on making better plays instead of just getting luckier with letter drops. That said, the first player is at a significant disadvantage unless the remaining players leave the room. So just kick them all out. Just kidding. There's also two-player competitive and co-op modes, where both players act simultaneously on a shared playfield to contribute to either their own or communal points total. And meanwhile, over on the right, there's a creepy clown or a fire eater or a bear riding a bicycle or, I'll try to help me, a mime. But you won't be looking at those, because there are words to be made. And with the vast array of letters available and all the possible combinations and permutations thereof, it's no simple task to learn to grasp the whole playfield at once. Especially as the speed begins to increase and your previous misplays begin to stack up. But hey, at least the soundtrack's awesome. You know what we need now? Typewriter noises. Thank you.